the one and only off the bottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support from the folks over X06, we're going to be taking a look at their new Star Trek Voyager 1-6 scale Captain Catherine Janeway. For a company, their first venture outside of Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager was also a fan favorite, and in large part due to Captain Janeway herself. And she is a great way to start off this line. For the package, much like all of them, you do have a really gorgeous image of the figure right there on the front. Of course, you have the, the a foil sort of text up here with Star Trek Voyager, all that, uh, her name down there. And then on the side, as you can see, much like the other ones, you do have kind of this panoramic image of the rest of the cast of Star Trek Voyager. And again, much like Next Generation, I really hope they are able to do all of them. Now, we have already seen that they do have pre-orders up for the Doctor. I would imagine another fan favorite that will come out eventually would be Seven of Nine. But either way, I'm, I'm just hopeful they're able to get to all of them. Come around to the back of the package, and you have all of her accessories, a rundown of all of them, as well as pictures. Because you got a product shot there on the side. Other side here just has Star Trek. And then you do have a bit of a slip sleeve style cover that you can lift this up just like so and a lot of the same stuff kind of carries over you got like that image uh, specifically of just captain janeway and the doctor right there come around to the back you have the cast and crew that are responsible for making the figure you do uh, apparently you have a uh, instructional video thing right there so if you want to scan that you can do it or just watch the rest of my video because i'm going to go over it and then of course you have an open window that fully showcases the figure as well as all of her accessories but for the packaging on this that's about it so without further ado Let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is. Alright guys, so here we have Captain Janeway opened up and out of her packaging. And starting off first with her accessories, uh, she comes with a pretty decent amount for what you're getting. In addition to the two fairly relaxed hands that are currently on her, she comes with a pair of fisted hands, you know, so that she can punch knee likes. You also get a left hand here that is more designed to fit the tricorder in it. It does just kind of rest inside there if I uh, pick up the tricorder without messing things up too much. When, 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 what do we got going on here? There, well, no, there we go. Uh, you can see that it fits there pretty good. It, it is a little bit loose of a fit though, but you can, because this is a slightly softer material for the, you can kind of squeeze that a little bit and get that in there if, if, if I can actually position things properly but uh there you go you can see that she can hold it which works very very nicely and then you also do get you well you get a uh, several different pairs of hands here that hold other things these ones here are more designed to hold the compression rifle you got a, a position where you're able to kind of hold the i guess front handle and then another one right here which is a little bit more trigger figure-ish I'm, I'm, I'm assuming and then you get another one here that is more designed to hold the regular phaser you can see the thumb is in a position where you can slide that down there and that puts the thumb in a position where it looks like it's able to push the actual trigger for the phaser then you do get a right and left pair of hands here that are much more open and that's more designed to go along with the uh, pad accessory uh, this one this one is also a kind of a loose fit on there um you can see she kind of just you just kind of rest it and do a little bit of squeezing on there and kind of just wedge it in there that one's a little bit more tricky than this one uh, so i do kind of wish that there was a little bit more of a gripping sort of thing with these fingers like the uh tops of the fingers curled around a little bit more because as it is you can have it rest right there but you move it away and it's going to fall so i do wish there was a little bit more of a grip kind of thing now you can probably use other hands like you can use this one i'm holding it upside down uh, you could probably do something like that and kind of that display or holding it like that if you really wanted to so you could utilize some other hands with it so it's not the end of the world or anything i just do wish that these had you can kind of see that there is a little bit of a curl there i just wish there's a little bit more of one because i don't know i mean yeah you can kind of squeeze these into a, a slightly tighter fit but i don't know how well like, over time that's going to last i mean i feel like the fingers would just slowly kind of start opening a little bit more but you do have that now, much like the other figures that uh, X06 has released, you do get the dolphin-style phaser. You also have the holster with it. Push that in there, collapse that in, locks it in there very nicely, and then it does still have that magnetic 
sort of thing. So you can just bring this up here and you can put this on her side piece and it magnetically attaches, which is beautiful. As I was showing, you do get the type 10 tricorder. You have the magnetic section right here where you can have it closed and then you can remove it. And then, I mean, it is two separate pieces, but you have the magnet right there. And then again, you have the hand that uh, you can sit there and have her grip that. But again, it's, there we go. And you can see that that holds very nicely. And I, I love the way that that looks. I mean, that is such a wonderful recreation of the tricorder. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love how they did that. Very, very cool. I'm, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, and then you also do get the holster for that as well. So you can collapse this up and you can put that, well, not that way, put that right inside there. And then that can magnetically attach to her other hip just like so she also comes with the compression rifle this is a little bit different than what we've gotten before this is a all new sort of thing and this was something that was introduced i believe in voyager previously we had gotten the type 3 phaser and you can see that there is a big difference here this is a much more powerful phaser rifle and you can see very big difference still has that very sleek futuristic sort of look but really love this and it is a two-handed thing so you got one hand that's going to hold it here one hand here so i got pew 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 because you got the strap right here that uh, is made out of cloth and you can re just put this over her shoulder if you really wanted to gorgeous paint on here very simple you got gorgeous silver you got some accents like on the inside there's a little bit of gold you got some red bits there really well done i would imagine this is not the last time that we're going to see this little guy you also do, I was kind of showing this before, you also do get a new accessory, that being her little pad. Uh, now, this was something that was common throughout Star Trek. They always had pads, personal access data devices, I think. It was, it was basically an iPad before the iPad came out. So, Star Trek's been innovating things for years, but really nice on there. You come around the back, you can see that it is just a gray bit of plastic, but you have the sticker on there, which allows for some uh, ship operation details things of that nature so you get that as well and then you also do get one of her most iconic accessories a cup of coffee you can see it is just a simple silver cup you got a nice black handle but it's very much like what she used in the show and then even when you look on the inside there you have a little brown section in there to kind of replicate the coffee you couldn't have a captain Catherine janeway without a cup of coffee it's something small something simple but it is 100 percent a necessary accessory for her to have I, I honestly can't think of a single episode where she wasn't drinking coffee so you get that uh, you also do get her display base and that's very similar to what we got before obviously you do have that little what they call like it, it's like an autograph card or something there's a, a film on there i'm not going to remove it because i probably am never going to get these signed but it says, you know, Captain Catherine Janeway has got a really cool image of Voyager itself. It's done up to look like the L cars screen, which is gorgeous. But you can see it is slightly translucent. Like I said, it has a film on there that you can remove. And if you ever went to a convention, you could have Kate Mulgrew actually sign that, which that would be cool. And I like that they include this. It also allows you to have, like I said, a bit of a nameplate here on a display stand that is identical to the ones that we've gotten before. Uh, you do have a little connector bit right here so they can all be interconnected and locked together. You also do get a little clear plaque section here that can slide right in there. And then you can take this and I didn't put that all the way down, but you can do something like that, which is also nice. And then the uh, top section here can be removed. This is meant to replicate the center of a transporter pad. Whereas the other sec sections that you get are meant to replicate the edges of it. So you can kind of recreate something like this where you're going around and you're going to have other transporter elements. As I said, that this can be connected with the other ones. You can create a full display with it. The thing that's also nice is, and I reached out to them and asked them specifically about these little additional pieces. Because these can clip on here along the backs and or whatever the case may be but as you can see it's done up in this like weird shape because they're meant to attach to this and then you got this little section right here where you can literally slide to, oh that, that might be a little bit too thin uh you can put something oh no that put something no yeah that's definitely too thin um let me try this that might be a little thicker no that's still definitely a little bit too thin so like maybe a piece of cardboard i got cardboard right here so let's try this Oh yeah, that works a whole lot better. So uh, what you can do, and this is just like the Transformers thing, but literally they include these because of the possibility that they'll release a 
backdrop, which will replicate the backside of the transporter. So where you're gonna have all these kind of interlocking, created one big transporter pad, you'll be able to have these pieces go around to create a background section, which will look like a transporter. And I think that's fantastic. I love that idea. I love that they're thinking ahead and not kind of limiting the display based on what they have here. They're, think, they're thinking of things that you can do, or specifically that they could do, to kind of expand the whole diorama setup, which I think is an absolutely terrific idea. But now, coming in to take a closer look at Captain Janeway herself, and I absolutely love what the folks at X06 were able to do with this. There seems to be kind of this weird stigma amongst 1-6 scale collectors that only male action figures can have sculpted hair. You see it a lot with companies like Hot Toys where if it's a female character, they want to give it rooted hair. The problem though is it never really comes out looking as good as it should. By doing a sculpted hair piece just like this, you 100% nail the accuracy of the character and that likeness is phenomenal i think that they did if i can get it to focus on on her i think that that abs absolutely looks wonderful i mean it really is a very accurate representation of kate mulgrew even down to the little smirk that she has i i just dig it and then taking a look at the costume this is what the whole cast wore through the entire duration of star trek voyager which makes sense because, you know, they got trapped in the Delta Quadrant when this suit was basically unveiled in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So it makes sense that they would have something like that. But you can see you got the nice blue undershirt. You have the Captain Pips right there. Gorgeous communicator badge right there on the side. The costume itself is really well done. It's tailored very nicely. It fits very comfortably on the body. You can uh, futz around with it. You can see you got little expansion or back sections right here, which is, again, very accurate. It allows flexibility. The original jumpsuit that they wore in Star Trek The Next Generation was very stiff. This, you can see, though, they nailed that inclusion of the little expansion bit right there. Very, very nice how they were able to do that. You got the little zipper section right here. One thing I will note is that the costume is not removable, so don't try to take it off or anything like that. And then coming down, you can see you have the magnetic sections right here for the uh, phaser. And, of course, the tricorder, getting those out of the way just to kind of have a nice clean look going on there. Overall, very, very nice. Again, the fit on it is fantastic. You come down to the boots. He's got the little bit of a heel thing right there. And then, of course, you have the little stirrup that goes around to keep the pants nice and tight so absolutely gorgeous level of detail that they were able to nail with this i, I mean honestly the artists over there are top notch they are banging all of these figures out of the park i really can't wait to see what they do with some of those kind of older original series characters me personally my love of star trek really started with the original series movies so if we can get looks of captain kirk dr mccoy spock all of them in those movie costumes, I would absolutely love it. For her articulation, uh, something different with this one. It has a bit of a tightening sort of thing now here at the neck. You actually lift this up to loosen it, and then they recommend that you kind of position this where you want. This is a rubbery suit. It kind of feels like that here. Um, not so much the body. Uh, well, maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of rubber. This one definitely has it, though. So they do recommend to lift that up, kind of position the head where you want, and then put it on there to kind of tighten that sort of thing. Now, obviously, you can still move it around, but that's a nice new kind of innovative feature that as you push it down, it tightens it instead of having like a ball joint thing right there. That's cool. The shoulders do have a really nice design, which has the actual shoulder section that sticks out from the main body, which allows you to keep the arms very tight to the body, which looks very good and very natural. Because a lot of times, you you know, you can't put the arms all the way down and they're constantly stuck out like this. I really like how they do that. You also do have a, I don't even know if you would say, like a reverse butterfly. I mean, it has a bit of a butterfly joint, but it also goes up and down. You can see you can have it down in a little bit more of a relaxed sort of thing. You can see it slopes down a little bit more. And then you can have a little higher, more neutral sort of thing. I mean, I really like that. That's very, again, kind of innovative uh, for a 1-6 scale body. You do have the rotation at the upper part of the bicep. You do have two bends here at the elbow. 
wrists do rotate and then you do have a pin uh, but it is recommended that when you want to position it to take this off and kind of position that pin because it is a little bit smaller so kind of position that where you want then put the hand on there so that you can have a more expressive sort of i mean you can still do it the other way but uh, i would just be cautious with it uh, you do have an upper diaphragm joint you have a rotation uh, like i said it does feel a little bit rubbery in here so uh, i don't know how much of a rubberized body they're using but that's nice to see the hips move forward and back and then because you have that leg design i like how that keeps everything nice and tight to the body in and out you have a rotation you have two bends here at the knee ankles do rotate around and then also move forward and back the other thing that's really nice about the figures i know specifically in the guys and it can you can kind of feel it here as well there is a weight distribution of these which allows you to really kind of sit them there and have them balance just about perfectly because the center of gravity is kind of geared more towards the lower part of the body than the upper part so it gives a very sturdy stance to the figure which you know obviously you get the display stand which is all well and good but sometimes figures have a tendency to want to topple over these ones don't and i really noticed that in the male ones as well and i also see it here with captain janeway that's a really nice touch but for me once again an absolutely wonderful release by x06 their version of captain janeway turned out fantastic accessory wise top notch I love the inclusion of the new compression rifle. The tricorder and a phaser are all perfectly suited for Starfleet at this time. Obviously, a nice array of hands. I do wish, though, uh, the more open hand was a little bit more of a clutching one, which could can hold her uh, pad a little bit easier. But for me, that's kind of a minor nitpick. And that's easily forgotten about when you take a look at the likeness of this figure. The portrait is absolutely astonishing. This being their third release, they continue to impress me and make me that much more excited about the other figures that they have coming out. And all of them are at a very reasonable price. I don't think they've released one yet that is over $200, which in the 1-6 scale market is what prices used to be almost 10 years ago. So for them to be able to have this sort of attention to detail really is quite impressive. Up next for them, coming out in January of 2022, will be the Star Trek Voyager EMH Doctor, which is another one that I'm really looking forward to. Of course, they've announced figures such as uh, Seven of Nine. They've teased other figures like Captain Jonathan Archer, Ben Sisko, and even recently, the one and only Q as well as Locutus, which, again, I am super excited. But there's your look at the new 1-6 scale Captain Catherine Janeway from the folks over at X-06. Again, I want to send a huge shout out to them for helping to make this review possible. If you'd like to add her or any of the other X-06 figures to your collection, it's also available right now over at Big Bad Toy Store. So for that, I'll put a link right down there in the video description where you can go there and check out availability on her as well as many other collectibles. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.